episode number 50, D'Artagnan Saves the Day. As you recall from our last episode, D'Artagnan had just escorted the Duke of Buckingham and Juliet to the Louvre Palace, which has been chosen as the secret meeting place of the Duke of Buckingham and Her Majesty Queen Anne. This important meeting is so secret that not even His Majesty King Louis knows about it. But something very strange is going on outside the palace where D'Artagnan and his friend Pip are standing guard. Hidden in the bushes is a mysterious stranger closely watching every move that is being made. Who is he and what is he up to? Huh? Hey, Dog Canyon. What's wrong, Pip? Bend down here. There's someone over in the bushes who keeps staring at us. Yes, I see. Come here, you. Well, don't run away. I want to talk to you. Wait a second. Who are you and what are you doing here? Go, oh, Master Dog Canyon. He's getting away. Hey, let go of my tail there. No. No! Watching us, answer me. Who sent you? All right, that's the spirit dog, Canyon. You got him. To the right, to the left, to the right, left, right, left. Use your upper jab. Keep your weight down. Keep up your feet. Keep your chin up. Up, up. The courage, dog, Canyon. Courage. <laughs> Should have been born a fish instead of a mouse. Hey, that's Dog Canyon. Yes, fighting a duel. Shall we lend a hand? Sure. One for all and all for one. It's the Three Musketeers. Greetings, friends. I'm glad you're here. Porthos, Athos, Aramis. Come off you oh, stupid hat. Hey, he's vaulted over the palace gates. Oh, stop you. Why run away? What are you trying to hide? Scaredy dog, you're not gonna get away with this because someday I'll find out who you are. I promise you. Dog Tanyon, tell us of your encounter. That sneaky fellow was hiding in the bushes spying on me. Who? That fellow with the black mask? Yeah, that's him. When I wasn't looking, he ran and got away from me. Hmm, now that is a pity that he got away. I would have made certain that he no longer stuck his snout where it wasn't wanted. Do you know who the masked man is working for, my friend? I don't have the faintest idea. But to tell you the truth, I don't think that it is me that he wants, but rather Juliet and the Duke of Buckingham, who just went into the palace. You're sure? A man who wears a mask would seem to be the type who would spy on secret meetings, in this case, the Duke of Buckingham and dear Queen Anne. Hmm. Maybe he's one of the many spies of that bully Cardinal Richelieu. His behavior leaves us very little reason for doubt. One thing is for sure. He certainly knows his job. He is clever and slippery, and he handles the sword with the same expertise as you, Dog Canyon. Why don't we hurry inside the palace and unmask that intruder, huh? Without a pass, not even the musketeers of His Majesty the King can enter the palace. A spy in the palace and there's nothing we can do. Rules and regulations must be respected, my friend. And I let him go. I know. We can ask Monsieur Treville to give us an entrance pass. Oh, do you really think Monsieur Treville will do it? I'd bet my last franc we have his trust. Hmm. Of all the solutions, this one seems the soundest. We will tell the captain everything that has happened and let him decide. Are we in agreement, Cadet Dog Tanyon? Sure. Oh, Pip, where are you, Pip? Huh? What happened? It's about time you took a bath, Pip. <laughs> what are you laughing about? It's not a bit funny. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Pip. Now go find Juliet and tell her that a suspicious-looking fellow who may be a spy has entered the palace. With pleasure, Dog Canyon. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Ah! 
the news that the secret meeting between the Duke of Buckingham and Her Majesty Queen Anne is taking place has found its way to the secret hideaway of the cunning Cardinal Richelieu. Hmm. The fact that the Duke of Buckingham is in the Louvre Palace does not make my job any easier. I can only beg forgiveness. You know that it gives me no pleasure to bring these bad tidings, but good fortune has not been on our side. I've done everything possible to prevent this meeting. Curses, you stupid fool. I don't think you quite understand how serious this is. At this very moment, the greatest danger is to France itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. I must find out what those two are up to. Then I'll know how to use it to my favor. Is His Majesty aware that the two of them have met your eminence? The king knows nothing. And even if he knew, he doesn't have the brains to do anything about it. His Royal Majesty hasn't the brain of a bird! I can't believe that the Duke of Buckingham and the Queen are meeting secretly in the palace. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it! I hate him! I'll get you, Buckingham! I'll make dog food of you if you interfere with me! Poor Cardinal Richelieu. He is angry and frustrated because he cannot think of a way to stop the secret meeting between the Duke of Buckingham and Queen Anne. Richelieu is anxious that this meeting may interfere with his own cunning scheme, unless he can find out what the Duke and Queen are up to and use it to his own greedy advantage. But how can he find out without sending someone inside the palace? Ah, but there is someone inside the palace, sneaking through hallways and corridors, who has already located the one room in this huge building where the meeting is taking place. The sly and skillful masked man is on the prowl. If he overhears their conversation, will he expose them? And if he does, what will be the consequences? Can D'Artagnan and the three musketeers get permission from Monsieur Treville to enter the palace in time to seek out and foil the plans of the intruder? Can they save the Duke of Buckingham and Queen Anne from being found out? Enter, my lord. I beg you to have the kindness to wait a moment. I will notify the Queen of your arrival. Are we in the private chambers of Her Majesty the Queen? Yes. My lord, Her Majesty will arrive presently. Hmm. The Duke is left alone in the Queen's chambers. Or is he? Could the sly masked man be concealed somewhere, waiting for an opportunity to overhear this royal rendezvous? Ah, Your Majesty. It's so good to see you. With your permission, Your Majesty, I find you more beautiful every time I see you. Thank you, Lord. Your words are very kind, but you exaggerate. No, Majesty, I promise you I am not exaggerating, for you are a hundred times more beautiful than you were at our first meeting three years ago. I pray you do not go on. Tell me about your trip. Have you had any encounters with the Cardinal's guardsmen since you came to France? None whatsoever. Hopefully the Cardinal doesn't even know I'm here, but with his network of spies, we never know. I did have an amusing encounter with a young lad called Dog Tanyon, who was madly in love with your lady-in-waiting. <laughs> possibly live in such a big house. They must use a compass and a map to make it around this place. But I must find Juliet and I must do it immediately. <laughs> Very humorous. You know how glad I am to see you, but you should not have come to France. You have too many enemies here. When you wanted to come back as ambassador, the king himself opposed your appointment. I know, and that action could be the cause of new hostilities. I wanted to remain in France, but your husband's refusal to allow me the post of English ambassador to France could provoke a war. Oh, no, not that. And that would mean I wouldn't be able to see you. Oh, please don't speak as if our meetings are anything but affairs of state, my lord. You know that I will always be true and faithful to my husband. Yes, I know that. And for that, you have my deepest respect. But as for my feelings, merely being able to enjoy your company is enough for me. As for the war, I shall do everything in my power to prevent it. Finally, I found her! I'm the smartest mouse in the world! <laughs> Julia! <gasps> Mademoiselle 
Admiral Juliet, it's very important that I talk to you. How did you get in here? You know you cannot enter the palace without special permission, don't you? You don't need special permission if you're a mouse. Now listen, I have a message. There's a masked man snooping around here. Ah, he might be an agent of Cardinal Richelieu. I must notify the queen at once. He could be in there listening to everything. <laughs> then please, may I have something, something I may treasure as a sign of our mutual friendship. A ring, perhaps, a bracelet, something that I may keep. Grant me this request, and with your permission, I shall return immediately to England. Mm. What's going on, Juliet? What are you doing here? I'm sorry, Majesty, but I've been informed that a masked man has entered the palace, possibly following the Lord. Who is he? It might be one of Richelieu's spies. I'll leave right now. Hey! Juliet, look! There he is behind the curtain! Huh? I got him, you see? chamber. The guards are all chasing that man. My lord, do not hesitate. You must leave at once. But I must attend Her Majesty. Don't worry. <coughs> Go ahead. I'll make sure Her Majesty is all right. You must be on your way before you're discovered. If they find you in the chambers of the Queen, Her Majesty will be ruined. You're quite right. You are a gentleman, Pip. I am very grateful. Now hush. Away with you and make it fast, will you? Majesty, wake up, please. You'll have to appoint me as the royal pillow. Wake up, your majesty. Rise and shine. Don't you know we're in big trouble? She sleeps like a royal log. Huh? In desperate times of trouble, good behavior is outweighed by the need for quick action. Oh, oh my, where am I? What happened? wasn't seen leaving, I hope. Relax, Majesty. My lord is in a very safe place. Ah, thank heavens. I'm very grateful. I was so frightened. I feared that his Majesty would learn of our meeting. You need not worry, Majesty. The king has been busy all day in a very important meeting. <sighs> you cannot imagine how relieved I am. The Duke confessed that the main reason he came was not affairs of state, but to see me, which I'm afraid that under the circumstances he'll never be able to do again. As he was leaving, the Lord confessed the exact same fears to me. That reminds me of the promise I made to the Duke. Please, Juliet, would you deliver something for me with this letter? Yes, Majesty. into unfriendly hands, I shall be ruined. Promise not to lose them. Fear not. Wait a moment. These are for the Duke. But, unless I'm mistaken, those are the diamond studs which His Majesty gave me for a present. That is so, Juliet, the most valuable of all my jewels. But I am more concerned about peace between France and England than beautiful gems. I want you to deliver them personally to the Duke of Buckingham with the letter. And tell him that I, Anne of Austria, give them to him as a present, as a symbol of peace and friendship. I understand, Majesty. Thank you, Juliet. I know that I need not tell you the harm my enemies might cause me if they find this letter or these jewels. Are you willing to do this for me? I am. Meanwhile, at the secret hideaway of Cardinal Richelieu... Are you certain of it, Rochefort? 
Yes, Eminence, I am completely certain. The information comes directly from one of the servants who works inside the royal palace. Hmm. We must seize that package before it is delivered to the Duke of Buckingham. And this time I don't want any foul-ups from you, Widomir. Take care of this matter, understand? Right! And so Juliet is on her way to carry out her secret mission. But what danger will she face in the attempt? Can the Queen's enemies prevent Juliet from delivering the package? Certainly they will try. You do like to be brushed, don't you, Sam? <laughs> Whitterburner's guards are after Juliet. I must notify my master at once. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry to disturb you, sir, but Whitterburner is chasing Mademoiselle Juliet. Did you say Whitterburner? Little does Juliet realize she is being followed by Captain Whitterburner and the Cardinal's guards. Can Dog Canyon get there in time to prevent them from stealing the package? This is an ideal place to get the package from her. Go take it. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, stop. Oh, what do you want? Oh! All we want, mademoiselle, is that letter and package. Oh, no, help! Help somebody! It's no use shouting. No one can hear you. Oh. Give me that! Oh, never! Help! Oh. Who are you? What the? What the devil? Where did you come from? Speak up! Who are you, you masked madman? Take care of him! And now let's go! Retreat! It's the spy! Way! Oh. Huh? But I heard you say that he stole a letter and a package! But it was only a decoy! Huh? He gave me a letter and a package, but it was a real one! Oh, you mean those were phonies? <laughs> <laughs> Imbecile! Do you recognize this? This is what you are so proud to bring me! Read it, you fool! Mm -hmm. And are these supposed to be the diamond studs? They are nothing but cheap, ugly stones. Huh? And if you thought what you took was real, then you have your just reward because you steal. It does no good breaking the rules, for you'll wind up playing the fool. What is the meaning of this eminence? It means that you're completely useless, you idiot. What? Uh, get out of here! Get out of my sight! <laughs> Cardinal Richelieu's scheme has been foiled. The Queen was too clever for him. Expecting foul play, he sent Juliet with a fake package. Fortunately, Juliet is unharmed, and the real diamond studs and the letter are delivered successfully to the Duke just in time for his departure. But one question is still left unanswered. Who is the masked man? And whose side is he on? Thank you so much for everything, Dog Canyon. Your behavior was magnificent. You are a very brave young man. It was a pleasure, sir. And for your heroic oh. deeds, Dog Canyon, I present you with this dagger that bears my family's coat of arms. Thank you. It's beautiful. Magnificent. If you ever are in England and find yourself in a desperate situation, just show this dagger and it will help you. I'm very grateful to you, my lord. Does that make you happy, Dog Canyon? Of course. The spy wearing the mask! This time you won't get away from me, blast you! Wait a minute, Dog Canyon. That man wearing the mask is my escort. What? The fact of the matter is that I did not know he was in France myself until I saw him at the Louvre Palace. You mean he's one of your men? Precisely. He's my protector. But I did not know myself that he was in France until I saw him there. Mon Dieu! By all the mice in France! I have never in my life come across such a presumptuous fellow! Pip, I know someone who's even more snobby than he is. You! <laughs> we leave our friends on a happy note. Cardinal Richelieu's scheme has failed, so the meeting between the Prime Minister of England and the Queen of France will remain a secret. 
Now the Duke can leave happily for England with a beautiful memento of his friendship with the Queen, and more importantly, a symbol of the friendship between their two countries. We can be sure that a strong belief in the Musketeer's motto helped our friends in the battle they've won, for they have sworn one for all, and all for one. In our next episode, the Queen is given cause to worry about the gifts she has given the Duke of Buckingham, for the diamond studs were a special gift to her from His Majesty the King. Cardinal Richelieu finds out that the diamonds are in the hands of the Duke and will try to embarrass the Queen by involving her in a scandal. Episode number 16, Daggers and Diamonds. Mademoiselle Juliette, the lady love of our hero D'Artagnan, is returning to Paris by coach while D'Artagnan and his friend Pip are riding back on D'Artagnan's trusty horse, Sandy. As they make their way home, the two friends stop to enjoy the beautiful French countryside. Just look at it! What beautiful landscape! It's marvelous. Hmm, why don't we stop a while, take some time to relax and enjoy ourselves before we go back to Paris? Mm-hmm, great idea. Uh, hmm. Hmm. the Duke of Buckingham gave you as a present? Can I, huh? Can I? Sure, Pip. Ah. It's not hard to see that this is a present from a man who is both honorable and noble. This is the Buckingham family's coat of arms. Think of the power it gives you. Don't you know what this coat of arms means? It means that I am the Duke of Buckingham, so kneel down before my royal presence. Oh. That's enough of that. Doesn't the very presence of this dagger make you want to get down on your knees before me? Don't be so ridiculous, Pip. The only people I bow before are their majesties, the king and queen of France, and Monsieur Travel. And what's more, if it were absolutely necessary, I would gladly give my life for them. Only for them? I happen to know someone else you would bow to and gladly give your life for. What? Just who do you mean, Pip? Who else? Why, Juliet? Your face is like a red tomato. Yes, sir, I'm like red, like a tomato, I'm red as a tomato. And if it was the last thing I'd say in my life, I'd say it again. Red like a tomato, tomato, tomato. Excuse us, ma'am. Apologize. My apologies. I'm sorry if I scared you, madam. Oh, do not worry. You didn't scare me. Ah, you do have a pretty dagger, young man. Magnificent, isn't it? I don't mean to be bragging, but it's a personal gift from the Duke of Buckingham. Oh, a gift from the Duke of Buckingham. Then you must be a good friend of the Duke. I'm more than a good friend of the Duke of Buckingham. We're so close, you might even call the two of us brothers. Please, Pip, don't talk that way. Next thing you know, you'll be saying that you're the king. Do not interrupt him, I beg you. Your friend is very likable. I can see you're a woman of breeding. On the other hand, you young men are very quiet and reserved. Who, <laughs> me? Well, um, not after you get to know me. Show me then. Take me for a walk. A walk? A gentleman would escort me down to the river. The banks are very steep. Steep? Well, what should I do, Pip? Let's go. We can't refuse an offer from such a beautiful lady, right? Is your friend going to come with us? Well, I don't mind if he comes along with us. If I left him here alone, he'd probably wander off and get lost. <laughs> I understand. Let's go! <laughs> Little do Pip and D'Artagnan realize that this beautiful and seductive female is none other than Milady, Cardinal Richelieu's cunning and ruthless spy. We can be sure that this meeting was no accident. What could she be up to? Ah, there's nothing like a walk on a beautiful day. It's also romantic and picturesque. But the view from the bridge is much more breathtaking. What are we waiting for, huh? This is so beautiful. If I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. This must be what paradise is like. Oh, no! My hat! The wind blew it off! Well, don't worry, I'll get it back for you! <laughs> hurry, Don Canyon! Hurry up! It's getting away from you!
I don't see her either. Uh, huh? Hmm, how strange. Where could she have gone? She left without saying goodbye. Well, that's the way females can be. Put on your clothes and let's go. Hmm. I don't get it. She was so interested in her hat. Hey, my dagger! What's wrong now? You left it laying there underneath your clothes. It disappeared. Hmm. 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 Oh. How oh, very strange. Hey, Dog Canyon. Huh. It's gone, right? Seems to be. And so is that woman. I'll bet you that she stole it. What, Pip? Do you mean... That lady's a thief? Think about what happened, Dog Canyon, huh? She sent us on a wild goose chase so we wouldn't see her do it. Do you mean she let her hat fall on purpose so that she could steal the dagger? There's no doubt about it. Come on, let's go and teach her a lesson. Come on! Right! You're not gonna get away with this. We'll fix her. Don't worry, Dog Canyon. She couldn't have gotten far. Say, Dog Canyon, there's one thing I can't figure out. Why would she want it? Huh? Meanwhile, Cardinal Richelieu is receiving the latest report from another of his spies, Count Rochefort. Eminence, the Duke of Buckingham has returned to England. It seems that on this occasion he has beaten us. I am truly sorry, Eminence. Don't worry. There will be more opportunities. If it's any use to you, Eminence, I would like to inform you that the Queen's diamond studs are in the possession of the Duke of Buckingham. Just what are you telling me? We didn't realize that the young woman had two packages. One contained artificial stones. So that idiot Widemere took the fake stones. Imbecilic moron. Yes, the Duke of Buckingham is in possession of the diamonds, I'm afraid, Your Eminence. There's no doubt about it. Those are the diamonds the king gave the queen on her birthday. <laughs> you don't know what joy you have given me. I'm sorry, I don't understand. The queen has made a terrible mistake, which will cost her dearly. Hmm? You may enter. Pardon me for interrupting, Eminence. On the contrary, your arrival is timely. I have a very important mission for you, milady. I want you to leave immediately for England. I am at your service. The Queen gave the Duke 12 diamond studs. I want you to go to England and bring them back. Yes, your Eminence. Above all, use discretion. I don't want any trouble. I know my job. This is very important to me. I want it accomplished as quickly as possible. Don't worry, Eminence. Now it becomes clear why Milady stole the dagger. It bears the coat of arms of the Duke of Buckingham, which will open certain doors that otherwise would be closed to her. Meanwhile, our hero, having lost his most valued possession, rides sadly into town. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you going? Oh, hello, Athos. I'm on my way home. I don't feel very good right now. We were just going to walk down to your house, my friend. What's wrong, Dog Canyon? You don't seem your cheerful self today. Uh -huh. Some woman stole the dagger the Duke of Buckingham gave the Dog Canyon. A lady thief stole his dagger? Was she pretty? Athos, is this necessary? But what did I do? What you're always doing, Athos. You spend all day thinking and talking about women. Isn't it about time you grew up? How did she get away? Didn't you chase her? Of course I did. But she still got away, right? Uh huh. We're going to help you find that lady thief, so put a smile on that face. Cheer up. Uh, Tell us, what did she look like, eh? That's her! That's the thief! So she's the culprit? That's the one, Dog Canyon, are you sure? Let's go! Come on, come on, come on.
his dagger back, but can he catch this cunning thief? caught a cold. My friends, I do think we must appear as a most ridiculous spectacle. You're right, Aramis, and all because of the clever lady thief who made us all look like silly fools. Oh, it's all my fault. I am so sorry I dragged all of you into this mess. Don't be silly, Dog Tanyon. Don't you remember one for all and all for one, my friend? Look on the bright side of things, Dog Tanyon. You've got your dagger back, which the Duke gave you as a present. Mm, I guess you're right. By the way, can you make any sense of all this madness? Hmm, that's a very good question, because to me, she doesn't look anything at all like an ordinary thief. Maybe she isn't a thief at all, but a spy for Cardinal oh. Richelieu. Richelieu's spy. I think that's it, Porthos. I can't understand why she wants that dagger in the first place. <laughs> God bless you. Cardinal Richelieu's clever spy, the mysterious woman in black, known only as Milady, is on her way to England to steal the diamond studs from the Duke of Buckingham. Let's hope he doesn't fall for any of her cunning tricks. Meanwhile, back at the palace, Cardinal Richelieu is hatching yet another scheme. I believe a grand ball with exquisite music, fine wines, and good food thrown in Her Majesty's honor would please the Queen immensely. Hmm. Your kind gesture will not only please your wife, but all of the rest of the members of court as well, Your Majesty. All of them but me. I'm sure you will be pleased as well, Your Majesty. Just what exactly do you mean? It's very simple, Majesty. Do you remember those diamond studs which you gave Her Majesty as a present on her birthday? Yes, they are quite valuable. She has yet to wear them in public, and this occasion would be the perfect opportunity to do so. It's true. Her Majesty will look absolutely ravishing wearing those stones. You have come up with a wonderful idea, Rishnu. My congratulations. I'm glad you agree, Your Majesty. I am sure the Queen will enjoy herself immensely. Hmm. Ah, oh, how beautiful. <laughs> you are amazing. All the odds are in your favor. I can just picture the queen at the moment we expose her to scandal. <laughs> <laughs> That blasted bird! Inside the palace, we find Juliet trying to comfort a distraught Queen Anne. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm ruined, Juliet. Somehow the Cardinal has found out what I've done. <laughs> oh, please don't cry. If I can help you in any way, please tell me. Remember the diamond studs I gave the Duke of Buckingham as a present? The king gave them to me personally. If I don't wear them to the ball, it will cause a scandal. This must be the doings of Cardinal Richelieu. I don't know how the Cardinal found out about it, but at this moment my reputation is at stake and I don't know what to do. Hmm. Tell me, dear Juliet, what can I possibly do? Send someone to England to ask the Duke for the diamond studs so you'll be able to wear them on the night of the ball. But there's no one. Your Majesty, I know this mission is important, but I have a friend that I am certain we can trust. Thank you, Juliet. I'm grateful for your help. Majesty. Juliet is aware that help is needed urgently. The Duke of Buckingham is the Prime Minister of England, and therefore one of the most powerful men in all Europe. If it becomes known that the Queen has given him the diamond studs, many in France will think she is a traitor and unfaithful to her husband, King Louis. She must find help, and she must find it quickly. Ah, and now we add the pasta slowly. Hmm. There. Hmm. And now the fun part. Uh-huh. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Good! Whoa, yes! Nicely done, nicely done! Hey, you do that better than the chefs at the Royal Palace! Nice flipping, monsieur. 
Bravo, dog canyon. Ah, go get him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's wrong? I need your help. You must go to England immediately. What? To England? But what for? Yeah. No. You must perform a very important mission for the Queen. The King wishes her to wear certain jewels to the Royal Ball. And those jewels are the diamond studs she gave to the Duke of Buckingham as a present. Mon Dieu! Sounds like she's in trouble. Oh, I'll bet the Queen is very worried about all this. Please, Doug Tanyon. You must go to England and beg the Duke to let you return with the diamond studs. Huh? Uh, alone? <gasps> Doug Tanyon, uh, uh, I have only one friend in the world that I can trust, and that friend happens to be you. Come on, what are you waiting to say yes for? You know you'd do anything for Juliet. Don't worry, Juliet, he's going to do it. Watch. Say yes to her. Yes, I shall do everything I can for you and the Queen. See, I knew it. There was never any question about it. Yeah, let's go. Ah, come on. <laughs> yeah. Wait. I can't go to England just like that, you know. It would be a lack of respect to Monsieur Treville, so I'd better get permission from him before I go. It sounds like a good plan to me, but hurry up. And while you're going to see your captain, Monsieur Treville, I'll start to pack up all our belongings. Agreed, Pip. That's a good idea. Don't you worry about a thing. Go on now. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. Thank you so much, my friend. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. Yeah, hooray! Sailing, sailing, yahoo! What's that for? You see, I don't sleep very well without my special pillow. Tanyan, you may have my permission. Well, thank you very much, sir. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be safe to go alone, so the three musketeers will accompany you. You mean Porthos, Athos, and Aramis, Captain? That's right. This special permit is good for the four of you, and with it, you can travel to England safely. Thank you again, Monsieur Treville. Goodbye, sir. I wish you the best of luck, my lad. Thank you. I'm confident he'll come back with the Queen's diamonds. Monsieur Porthos! Monsieur Porthos! Monsieur Porthos! Master Dog Tanya needs you immediately! My master wishes to speak with you. Monsieur Aramis! My master needs you urgently. He's waiting for you. The three musketeers are wondering why Don Pen is talking so urgently. Must be awfully important. Little do they know that what Dog Canyon has in store for them is a trip to England and a very important mission. A journey that will involve them in a great adventure. Yay! It's been a long time since I've had the chance to really enjoy myself. Don't take this so lightly. We are not going on a leisurely pleasure trip. Don't worry, I know that. Now listen to me. I don't think the Cardinal's henchmen are going to let us travel to England peacefully. We must be prepared to fight along the way. I realize that. I said enjoy myself. The more fighting, the better, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, friends, one for all. And all for one. Ready, Sandy. <laughs> Thanks for the leg up, Sandy. Be careful, sir, and I wish you all the very best of luck. I have faith in you. Good luck. Don't worry, Juliet. I promise you I will be back in time for Her Majesty the Queen to wear those diamonds. 
All right, then, shall we go? Right! Yeah! Go, Sam! Oh, Duck Canyon, do be careful. I care about you so much. Will Lord Canyon and the Three Musketeers arrive in England in time to accomplish their important mission, or will Cardinal Richelieu interfere in some cunning way? They must come back with the diamond studs in time for Her Majesty the Queen to wear them at the ball given in her honor. Don't forget that Milady is already on her way to England to try and steal the diamonds from the Duke of Buckingham. We can only be sure that our heroes will do their best to get the job done, for they've sworn one for all and all for one. In our next episode, we will see what happens to our friends as they travel from Paris up to Calais, where a ship bound for England awaits them. Disaster may be in store, for Cardinal Richelieu is deploying a great many of his guardsmen at the most strategic points in the road in a desperate attempt to stop them.